Hello everyone, The Flying Scotsman here and welcome to this video. Now, in this video we're going to be taking a look at a machine that we've not actually had a look at for some time. This being the Compaq Armada 7800. Now, thanks to someone in the Compaq LTE owners group, I was able to actually procure a copy of the Restore Media for Windows 95 for this thing. As some of you will remember, I had um, NT Restore Media at one time. I still do, somewhere. Uh, but, um, to be honest, I would sooner have Windows 95 Restore Media. Well, I would sooner have Windows 95 or 98 on this machine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try and install it. Now, to do this, sometimes you do need a 12-digit... Um, product key for this machine uh, for uh, the restore media for it to work um, now as far as I know it's on the bottom here next to this barcode actually is it I think it is but um, when sensory 350a tried it last night with his machine it didn't seem to work so anyway we'll 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 see if we can try this CD today um, hopefully it'll work and uh, we'll be able to get Windows 95 up and running on here the original image all right it's uh, screens a wee bit dark but I mean that's to be honest to be expected um, on such an aged machine let's see if I can let's see if I can uh, increase the brightness Yeah, that's about as far as it'll go. It'll probably need to warm up. But the Restore Media has loaded, so I need to select the, the uh, language. Uh, important notice is Compact Disc CD is provided for the sole purpose of enabling a compact personal computer owner to restore uh, original pre-installed software to a compact personal computer. Uh, software provided on the CD is subject to the full terms and conditions of the manufacturer's original software license agreement shipped with the compact product. Any use other than specified above is strictly prohibited and will violate the manufacturer's original so software license agreement. Excellent. Uh, warning. Welcome to Compact Quick Restore. This utility is uh, supplied by Compact to provide an easy way for you to restore software that was originally pre-installed on your Compact personal computer. Caution, Quick Restore destroys all data on the hard disk. Um, if you have added personal files or software that you do not want to lose, copy them to diskettes before proceeding. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Right. Okay, so I will need that 12 digit number. Right, okay, so I've formatted the hard drive and I've managed to get this Quick Restore CD to kind of go. Now, there is something that I probably should say. Um, the 12 digit um, barcode on the bottom of the machine, that is actually the barcode. Um, to get this Quick Restore CD to go, because it while it is for a 7800, it's not for this 7800. There seems to have been multiple uh, issuings of the Quick Restore CD for this machine. Um, so this this machine, it, um, what you do is to get um, a Quick Restore CD to work is in the bombid.txt um, file in under the map directory, you'll see um, a four-digit um, a, a four-digit code. You'll see a couple. You'll see a couple of lines, you know, uh, that correspond with um, with machines that the uh, Quick Restore CD can go to. What you do is you take a note of the four-digit code that corresponds with your machine. In this case, it was a seventy-eight hundred, and then you and then when you come to restore it asks for a serial number write out the first four digits of the serial number on the bottom of your laptop then write the four digit code um then write the last four digits of the serial number 
Um, I know it's a, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a palaver, but um, I mean that has worked for me once with Windows NT4 all the way back in 2014, and once now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go ahead and restore this thing. Um, warning, the software that was originally pre-installed on your compact personal computer will now be restored on your hard drive. Yes, 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 I, I am aware of all that. Um, it turns out I still had the original Windows NT image on here. And so I just uh, deleted it and set about... Uh, Restoring, uh, well, restoring this. There's a 10 gigabyte hard drive in here. I think it was an eight initially, uh, judging by the model number. Oh, when you press enter, your computer will restart and initialize your hard drive before the restoration process can take place. Ah, right, yeah. What I did was I started um, a... Uh, I actually uh, deleted all the partitions on the hard drive, foolishly I might add, and installed um, and uh, just put on a big 10 gig partition because I'm an idiot. So we're going to go back to here and yep, it's going to let me restore this time. So obviously this has had to repartition the hard disk and install the uh, compact uh, diagnostics partition and what have you. So this is going to take a wee bit. So I will, um, I will uh, rejoin you at the other end of this, or if there's any problems, which I sincerely hope there is not. So after quite a long wait, uh, we are getting there. Anyway, we are done. Uh, quick restore is complete. Remove both the diskette and the CD from your computer. Press enter if you want to complete the process by going through the initial startup at this time. Turn off the computer if you want to complete the initial startup at a later time. So if I was going to sell this machine and I wanted a I wanted to give the new owner an out-of-the-box experience. I could uh, put the computer off now and uh, go through um, that at a later time. Like so. But we're actually going to go through it now. So let's uh, put this back on. Oh, it's exciting. This is just like getting a brand new one of these. 21 or 22 years ago. Uh, that's quite interesting. So, um, it did this uh, with the Windows NT image. So what we have is copyright 1998 Compact Computer Corporation. Uh, thank you for purchasing a compact personal computer. You can now personalize the software that is currently installed on your personal computer. Time and date have different formats in different countries. You'll be asked to select the country uh, that matches the format you want to use. Uh, country convention. Um, you'll also be asked to identify the type of... Uh, keyboard that is attached to your computer. To personalize your software, you will be asked to enter your name, the name of your company, and the current date and time. Uh, press the enter key to continue. That's quite interesting. Didn't seem to even go through and load Windows 95 then. It seemed to almost be like a pre-Windows environment. Probably even 3.1, but here we go. Oh, we even have um, the Compact logo there, Microsoft Internet Explorer. Nice. 
Well, here we go. Windows is starting your computer. Please wait. Uh, well, Windows copies necessary files. Now, I do have to wonder if there was a um, Windows 98 version of uh, this Quick Restore uh, routine. Oh, here we go. Windows 95 is now uh, setting up any hardware and plug and play devices you may have. Excellent. This is a lot like uh, Packard Bell's Quick Restore routine. Once you've finished, once it's finished copying the Windows ninety five files, it does something like this, but using a Windows three point one interface. So it's quite interesting that this would use a ninety five interface and actually be inside of Windows ninety five. Here we go. And there we go. Got to set the time zone. Greenwich. Ah, no, not Berlin and Stockholm. Greenwich, meantime. See if we can uh, set this properly. It's uh, July. Twenty twenty. It's um, the fifth of July, twenty twenty, and uh, the time is about well three fifteen p.m. And the speakers are working. That's good. Oh, and the compact logo's disappeared. That's quite strange. Oh, and now it's going, going to install the applications one by one. That is one of those types of restore. I just thought that was for the NT restore. So DirectX Setup just uh, came on screen and uh, started installing a version of DirectX. I'm not sure which one, but it now needs to restart. Now, uh, the preparing application screen that uh, we just saw that um, that actually took a lot less time than I'd anticipated, uh, but I'm still glad that um, I didn't record it because it was long enough that um, it wouldn't have made for good video material. Aha, uh -huh. and now we are here. Um, so, this is um, the part where we uh, set the machine up. Um, well, set Windows 95 up, so I want to select my region. I'll keep the United States keyboard because this uh, computer does have a US keyboard layout. Excellent. I'm going to type my name. And I've put the product key in and now start wizard windows 95 uh, uh, saved all information click finish to continue starting windows 95 excellent and then we're go going to need to restart again i wonder if i was to find a restore cd that had the number that had the same serial number as this laptop what version of windows it would have on it 
Um, I would say that we could probably answer that by looking at uh, what version of Windows it was designed for. So it would probably um, be safe to say that this machine was designed for Windows 95. Pentium 266. Uh, Pentium 2 266. Although there were 366 megahertz Pentium versions of this machine. Oh, and here we go, Windows messaging. <laughs> do I want to install a printer? No. Um, do I want to create system disks? How many do I need to create? Microsoft Windows 95 disk set. Um, no, let's, let's not be reminded to create those. And Rail Mode gets its own uh, setup. So it's, it's setting up uh, one of the things I like so much about these uh, Armadas. Oh, and now I get to uh, set up uh, my location information. Um, unfortunately at the moment, live in the United Kingdom, plus four four. And um, it's 01224. The code for Aberdeen. And there we go. Oh, wait, no, not quite. <laughs> no, there's still more to go. Because we still have the internet on here. Also known as Internet Explorer 3. <laughs> now, in our last video, we, we uh, refrained from installing the active desktop uh, update. Now, in this, ver in this video, we are going to install it. I think this is a Windows 95C restore disk. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. Which is quite interesting because the... Um, because the... Uh, Compact for Serio 2340 only has a Windows 95B restore disk. But it does have the active desktop update to go with it. So this, um, this is newer. I could kind of tell it was Windows 95C uh, because it was using the newer um, MSN uh, icon. This basically looks like every other Compact Armada restore image from the time. What you do, Windows 95, Active Desktop Update, Internet Explorer 4, Compact Information Guide, maybe uh, provision for Ethernet drivers, other uh, bits of uh, e-documentation, and MS DOS rail mode and carbon copy support. Uh, yeah, carbon copy support. And that's it. That's that's your lot. That's your compact Armada image. And then if you may, you'll update Internet Explorer to version five to add a bit of stability to Explorer.exe, and um, you'll install Office ninety seven and a few games, and then you'll play them or whatever. If anyone could help me, I would be uh, grateful if I could have a Windows 95 or 98 um, quick restore disk for the Armada 1750. That is something I've been after for a good long time now. The Compact logo is back! Hooray! And now we're back at um, a screen looking like this. This should not take too long though. It doesn't usually take very long. And there we go, the old BBC logo. 
newer versions of IE would uh, include a newer BBC logo. <laughs> and this is something we never had on the uh, 2240. The official Compact Channel. Welcome to Active Channels. Yeah, boo! And the compact programmable keys. Very nice. Okay, so let's get some uh, let's get some hardware installed. This is very Canadian. Let's get some hardware installed. PC card slots have been switched on. That's that's very good. Did it. Now, given this machine's got a Pentium 2 in it and a USB port on it, um, probably should have installed Windows 98, but, um, well, you know what? The Presario 2240 also has USB ports. And thanks to Nathan Lineback, if I need to use a USB flash drive, there are Windows 95 USB drivers available. Excellent. So we can install. Well, first of all, first of all, what I would like to install is um, ALT PNT. So I'll get that and I'll put a big cursor. Big mouse pointer. Whoops. There we go, and Yep, you might have guessed it. Another reboot! Yay! <laughs> oh, and there's probably going to be another one even still, because I'm guessing TCP IP will need installed. I like how Compact uses the echo off command. That's why you can't see commands being written on a, or the C prompt or what have you. Okay, so now we're going to need to log in. Now that's interesting. It has uh, software that's emitted the uh, floppy disk drive. So now it's not going to be looking for it. The floppy disk enhancement. Okay, so do I need to install TCP IP? Uh, yes, I blooming well do. And we're back. Uh, 
and hopefully we should be able to um, get on the network now. And indeed we cannot. Um, Excellent. Now we can get on the network. I just needed to change the work groups. Um, so I will map up some network drives. Absolutely fine for Windows 95, but such an anachronism in today's uh, computing world. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and uh, throw some... Uh, extra bits of software on here and, um, and then we'll try out um, a couple of games. Now this isn't very good. Then again Wipeout, I mean this has only got an S3 Verge graphics card uh, compared to the um, ATI offering in the 1750. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's not going to work. Well, this does work, or it would if I had the CD to hand, which I don't because um, I'm in MS-DOS and I installed it using an image in Windows and um, it doesn't seem to like not having the CD-ROM. So, uh, But um, I think this is proof enough for me that Rayman does in fact work. still think it runs best on Compact Armour the 7750MT uh, though. <laughs> Because memes. Um, but yeah, no, this is uh, this is all fully working thereabouts. So yeah. So that's a uh, Compact Armada 7800 set up with a um, with the correct kind of Im image, as in Windows uh, Windows 9X rather than NT. Even though it's only got S3 graphics, S3 Verge graphics in it, you know, I, I still think that you know, I mean, if anyone had have, uh, been given this machine. Um, or got, or even bought it in uh, 1998 or whenever. I think, um, I think they would have been very happy with it. And to their chagrin, if they had kids, I think the kids would have been very happy with it because they could play their games on it. Maybe not as well as they could at around their best friend's house. They, they had, um, they had a all singing, all dancing desktop, and someone. Had been... Oh, mefty me. Yeah, 
And someone had thought to install a Voodoo 2 or even two of them in there. You know, it's not going to run as well as that. But um, while we're here, why don't we have a look in the, at the setup screen? Just check that's all working. Uh, it's F10 to get into setup because of course it is. So the serial number is blank, as it was in uh, 2014. Uh, ROM date is um, 7th of August, 98. I guess if it's month, day, year, it would be. Um, maximum energy savings. Hibernation. Uh, custom conservation that that kind of looks like it says custom conversation but never mind uh, boot management um enable quick boot multi boot yep yep s3 verge mx pci graphics controller that's that's what's in here I think it has 3D capabilities. I'm pretty sure it does, but I mean they're they're limited at best. Um, ESS eighteen seventy nine plug and play audio drive. <clears throat> that's uh, that's what sound card is in here, and this is a fourteen inch XGA display, I do believe. Um, and. It has, like I've said before, it has a 10 gigabyte hard drive and 128 megs of RAM. For some reason, I've got it into my head that this machine only had 64. It has a multi-base, so I can swap out the CD-ROM for a floppy disk drive. Also has a USB parallel serial um, line-in, line, um, speaker out, headphone out, and microphone in, uh, serial parallel VGA, and... An internal power supply like all the Compaq Armada um, 77 and 7800 series machines and actually a few more of them as well 1750 also I seem to have a few power supplies for a, to a 7400 which is odd because I no longer own one of those but I'm not complaining so there we have it that's the Compaq Armada 7800. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and join me for my next video. Goodness knows what it'll be on, but um, hopefully there will be a video. Anyway, thank you very much, and I will um, I will speak to you all later.